finally doing this makeup tutorial that um, you guys have been asking me where it is for the last three years. I did this makeup for the Goth Girl's Guide to Black Liquid Lipsticks, which I need to update. Everyone really wanted to see how I did the makeup in that video, and I'm like, yes, I'm gonna do that next week. Now it's like 300 weeks later and I haven't done it so I'm really sorry to everybody who's gone looking for it and you haven't been able to find it you can't find it because it hasn't existed um, till right now so without any further ado let's get into this makeup tutorial shall we first things first I'm going to be putting my hair back obviously and I'm going to be putting on a really fun lecture Wes Cecil he's always good for my contour, I used, I can't remember what I used originally, but I'm using a mixture of Harmony and Sculpt from MAC. And then I'm taking this really light pink color, it's matte. I know it looks white, but it's really a pink, pinky shade. I'm running that through the crease, um, all up into the brow bone, and then taking Taco from Sugar Pill, which is just straight white, and putting that right underneath the brow bone. Just gonna help it pop out a little bit more because I am really pale right now. Um, and this is 2 a.m. from the Sugar Pill uh, Sweetheart palette, I think. Um, Heartbreaker palette? I don't know. I'm putting this all the way through the crease um, from corner to corner and bringing it up really high, kind of blowing it out. It's just gonna be a really good base to start deepening. Um, and then I'm gonna take Sugar Pill's Poison Plum which is a darker purple, and I'm just going to work that through the crease, but a little bit lower, closer to the fold, just to start getting some dimension in there. And then I'm going over with a dirty brush, just sort of blending it out, had that light pink color on it. And then I'm taking Fig One from MAC, which is a deeper, warmer, matte purple, and I'm just further deepening that crease layers it's all about layers and I'm basically doing the same thing underneath the eye making sure to connect that corner there uh, getting a little more precise want to make sure to extend that out a little bit because I am going to exaggerate the eye shape now I'm taking a push liner brush and some more of that fig one just closer to the lash line and I'm really lowering that inner tear duct I'm just basically going straight out from the bottom of my eye in toward the nose. Taking a little bit of blackout from Urban Decay and I'm gonna push that right up against the lashes. Just to make it super dark under there. We are putting some false lashes on the bottom lash line, so I'm gonna need to do that. Uh, blending out with a dirty brush and then I'm just gonna take a little bit of that black and further deepen that crease. I want it really dark. I want it to go back as far as possible. Um, and then I'm also going to be blending that out with a little bit of Fig One. A little more blending. Just making sure it's seamless, guys. Now I'm taking Too Faced Glitter Glue and Lust Dust from Manic Panic in the shade Stiletto. This stuff is magical. It sort of has a rainbow sparkle in it. But the um, shadow insurance, the Too Faced glitter glue, is really hard to work with. It dries really quickly, but if you can work with it, it's an amazing combination. I'm putting it down as quickly as possible in the shape that I am going to be wanting. And then I'm flipping the brush over, taking that lovely Lust Dust, and I'm going to be placing that all over the lid I'm pressing mostly um, doing a little bit of swiping but mostly pressing and getting it almost layered over into that black I don't want it to be cut but I want it to be like a soft cut and there you go tin man rainbow eyes pretty beautiful Okay, so now I'm taking NYX's white shimmery pigment, I think it's called Pearl, I'm not sure, and then Platinum Pigment from MAC and mixing that with a little bit of contact solution. 
Um, and I just wanted something that was silvery white. I didn't have anything, so this is what I used. Um, so I'm going to take that all along my actual tear duct area right above where we put that sort of drop down line and I'm also going to sort of drag it out toward my nose a little bit I want it to be you know buffed out through there now I'm taking a little bit of gel liner laying down the foundations for my inner corner and I'm going to also be lining my entire waterline with some black coal pencil and now on a little bit of a more precise brush I'm going to take some cake liner this is just a generic cake liner that I got at Sally's forever ago but I have a little more control over how liquidy or how dry it is so I'm just sort of laying it down in there almost actually in my eye um, and then I'm going to just make a nice wing line on the top I do want to exaggerate the shape so I'm bringing it out pretty far away from the actual end of my eye. I want to extend it um, and I also want to make sure that it's really sharp and the best way to do that for me is to switch to an angle brush. It just works better with the shape of my eye to use an angle brush when I'm when I'm doing like a, a wing or a big flick on the outside of my eye. It helps me to keep it really really crisp and keep the lines really straight. Then I'm going to flatten that out and take that cake liner and try to extend and perfect and sharpen the inner wing a little bit more. It's really hard on my eye shape because it's so concave here. Um, it's not really easy to do this on anyone's eye shape, but mine in particular is a little bit of a challenge. Now I'm going to take some 2AM and just start redefining under that silvery white highlight I really want to make a shadow there I want it to look like this is the actual shape of my eye so putting a little more depth under that is going to help I'm taking a little more of the darker purple the fig one on a more precise brush and just deepening that up and there you have it going to do some mascara and that is the eye we need the other eye it's going to be magical and wow that was so much easier than the first one and yeah I'm just going back with a little more of that cake liner I just want you guys to see like where I'm actually putting it it's laying inside so there it is that's how you do it pointy pointy inside wings so fabulous but difficult but worth it now I'm going to be taking the 385s from Ardell and I'm just going to cut them like the first three off, three little bunches there, two bunches. And I'm going to be using the whole lash, but the tiny bit I'm going to put on the outer corners of the eye and I'm going to bring them down and out a little bit from my actual lash line. Um, it just makes the eyes look way bigger when I do, well my eyes anyway, it makes them look super huge. So. Now I'm going to take the remaining lash, put it on top, and I am going to drag that out a little bit and up, make sure it's in line with the false lash on the bottom. And there you go. So there's the other eyelash. Mm. Refreshing beverage. In that particular video, I think, and I was wearing Salem. Uh, no, Salem. <laughs> Girl, doing makeup is hard. But anyway, I'm going to try this colored rain one. This is called 2 AM. What? Say hi. Say hello, everybody.
Okay. I think for a highlight, what is this hair doing? It's doing crazy things. I think that I probably just used some white silvery powder or highlighter or something, but I'm thinking about using this NYX Duochrome one. This is the Duochromatic Illuminating Powder in Twilight Tint. Ooh, this, yes, that's nice. Sees. Sees, ma. I like it. So, there it is. After about a million and five years of waiting, there's the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I hope you guys are well. And I will see you all in my next video.